Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to talk about some new makeup releases. There have been so many new releases lately and I'm honestly really trying to keep up, but there's just so many. I'm thinking I want to do two separate purchaser pass type of videos. This video is not going to include any gift sets because I want to do a separate video specifically on gift sets if that's what you're most excited for. Listen, when it comes to this time of year, the gift sets is what I look forward to the most, but there are some really, really good releases coming out soon, so we're going to talk about them today. Grab a snack, grab something to drink, and let's get into the video. I am honestly not surprised that another e.l.f. product has been leaked and e.l.f. is always poking fun at it, but I understand that they're probably frustrated about it because a lot of stores put out their products early and then people post about them. And this is actually a very exciting release. This is the Fine as Fleck glitter eyeshadows. These are going to be $6 a piece. There are six different shades and it's kind of looking like the Urban Decay shadow dupes. I really am hoping that this is like a beautiful glittery toppery kind of single shadow because I really don't feel like a lot of people are into single shadows that are just like regular single shadows. People want like a multi-chrome, a duochrome, glitter, a sparkle, something that can really enhance our eye looks, you know? So I'm really hoping that this is along the lines of a product like that. These are $6 a piece. Elf is really affordable, so I already know that I'm gonna be picking up a few of these. Just to try out the formula, see if I like it. I'm very excited for this, and I also really love this acrylic packaging. I think it looks sleek and clean. And I don't really feel like Elf has done packaging like this. Or have they? Because I don't remember Elf ever doing packaging like this, but it looks really, really cool. Okay, now this was actually a very, very unexpected release. I saw Patrick tease this on his TikTok a while ago, maybe a week or two ago. I was thinking this collab blush was this blush right here, but it looks like he said it's a different pink. So that's what made me want to get this. So I did pick up this collab. I don't know what happened because I did post about it on the community tab and it was available at the time that I posted that, but I went back hours later and it said out of stock and I was like, whoa, did it sell out that fast? But it actually doesn't release until October 1st. So if you saw that post too late, clicked on it, saw it was out of stock, don't worry. It officially releases on October 1st. So you still have time to pick it up. My order has already shipped, so as soon as I get it, I'm definitely gonna be playing with that and doing some comparisons because I have almost all of the Patrick Top pink blushes, so we really need to see how much of a difference this blush is and if it is something worth a pickup. So, very excited for this. I do remember trying out his plumping lip gloss and it wasn't my favorite. Um, I just wasn't a fan of the smell, but that was like maybe what, two years ago that I tried his glosses like that. I'm gonna try out the gloss. I'm very excited for it. I mean, who doesn't love Barbie? Okay, who does not love Barbie? This also might be his first collab too, so that is exciting. Let me know what you guys think about this though, because I did see some mixed comments regarding this product. All right, so Hourglass is launching the Ambient Lighting Palette Dream Edit. This is gonna be $64. This is a four pan palette, which is available right now if you are curious. This is definitely gonna be a pass for me because it is on the lighter side, but I kind of wish that Hourglass would launch more four pan palettes like this throughout the year rather than having all of us wait for these six pan palettes. I am wearing a few shades from the Lotus palette this year and I've actually been thoroughly enjoying this. I'm wearing the blush today and I have a little bit of this color here to kind of like dust all over to give myself like that glow. I do wish that Hourglass would come out with four pan palettes that go deeper. You know, I wish that they would actually take palettes like these and give us a nice curated line that's like a permanent staple line. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be a pass for me. We have two new Glam Light collections to talk about. The first one is a collaboration with Hostess, which was very, very unexpected from Glam Light. But y'all know how I am when it comes to Glam Light. I buy just about every single thing. I love Glam Light so much. So I picked this up and it should be getting to me in a couple days. But in this collection, you get the Cupcakes Body Butter, you get a lip scrub and a lip mask that has a Twinkies flavor, and then you get a lip kit. So the only product in this collection I don't really think I'm gonna be able to use is the lip liner in this lip kit but that's okay. I don't mind just using like a brown lip liner because I did get this on TikTok shop and the coupons are 
insane. I came out cheaper just getting the entire collection rather than just getting everything separately. I really hope that this has a nice smell to it. Now we do have another collection from Glamlight and this was a TikTok live exclusive. They collaborated with Coca-Cola and when I saw this I immediately had to add to cart. I bought the entire collection. In this collection there are two eyeshadow palettes. They're eight pans each. We have a cherry cola palette and an original Coca-Cola palette. Y'all when I look at both of these palettes I see the vision i get cherry cola i get coca-cola from it this looks so good there's two lip gloss sets you get three glosses in each but they come in a coca-cola can what like this is so cute so i immediately had to get this there's also a dual chrome highlighter in this collection that looks like a bottle cap and i was like i have to get this i am such a fan of diet coke and coke zero I know it's not good for you, but I don't care. This collection, I had to get it. I absolutely had to get it. And I'm actually really happy to see Glamlight kind of collabing back with like food brands again and like drinks and stuff. I kind of miss these kind of collections from them. Still waiting on the spooky collections, but I do miss these like food themed collections from Glamlight. We have the Pat McGrath Holiday Collection. This is a very highly anticipated collection every year. When I saw what this collection actually looked like, I was a little bit disappointed. Not a little bit. I was very disappointed in this because it doesn't look, this really does not look different from any of the previous holiday collections. When I look at this, I don't really get holiday and I just don't really, I'm not, I don't, I'm not loving these palette color stories. I feel like this is going to be the holiday season where I don't pick up anything from the Pat McGrath holiday collection. I'm just not like in love with this color story. I just don't really feel like it's super cohesive. The only palette that I kind of like is the five pan palette. I believe it's like all shimmers. That looks really pretty, but the bigger palette, that's definitely gonna be a skip for me. I don't know why we needed two pan palettes. And I also don't think that they're anything different from the formulas that come in the bigger palette or the five pan palette. I just don't really understand that and the duo palettes are $25 which is really expensive for two little shadows so I just mm, this is definitely gonna be a skip for me but it is available now let me know what you guys think about this you know what it was only a matter of time before a brand actually duped the milk jelly blushes this is from revolution beauty and these are their version of the jelly blushes these are eight dollars a piece and they are available now at ulta if you felt like the milk one was too expensive and you didn't know if you would like the formula these are only eight dollars they look very very similar to the milk ones um but leave it up to makeup revolution and revolution beauty to dupe the brands you know i feel like if we give elf a little bit of time they just might dupe this product. This is interesting. So Natasha Denona is coming out with the Hygiene Tinted Lip Mask in three different shades. And she's coming out with a face brush. This seems so random, but I get it. I get it because so many brands have their version of a lip balm, a peptide lip treatment. And of course, Natasha Denona would come out with one. I do feel like the packaging could have been a lot better though because hello, it is Natasha Denona. She has really like reflective packaging and I would have loved to have seen that reflected in her lip mask. They are $25, which is pretty typical for this kind of product, but I just feel like the packaging is just not giving Natasha Denona. I'm not loving the packaging. The shades are really pretty. They are like your typical shades. I love the names. Candy Apple, Baby Nude, Berry Bliss. These swatches on the model are beautiful and they're very glossy Ooh, I don't know about this the packaging needs to draw me in too when it comes to a price point at $25 but I'm loving how these are looking on the models I don't need it I don't need it I have way too many lip balms I'm trying to get through so I'm gonna pass on this one but it's interesting now the brush is a duo brush I honestly think that this brush being launched with the lip balms is kind of random I don't really feel like it goes with the collection. I don't know, but the brush is $45 and I will say for that price, definitely get a Patrick Ta brush. Patrick Ta brushes are in the $40 price range, but they are so worth it. They feel luxe, they look luxe, they have a little bit of weight to them and the quality is definitely there. So I haven't tried this brush from Natasha, but I just feel like if you're gonna pay $45 for a brush, 
definitely look at the Patrick Top brushes. Okay, so the Rem Beauty X Wicked collab is available now. This is actually a very pretty and ethereal collection, and I really do think that Rem Beauty did an amazing job with this collection. I don't think that I'm gonna pick up anything from it. A palette, I feel like it's definitely not something that I would reach for. It's definitely one of those items that I would get it for like collector's sake, but I, I, I don't need to do that. I have so much on my list that I want. I can pass on this palette. I think it's beautiful. It's a very beautiful collection. There is a highlighter, there's some under eye patches, some lip stains, a palette. It is gonna be a pass for me, but they definitely did. The Wicked Movie Justice. Moving right along to Give Me Glow Cosmetics. So Give Me Glow Cosmetics, their products are stunning, their packaging is stunning, and right now they're currently teasing blush and highlighter duos. I'm waiting for them to reveal that perfect duo for me because this is something I'm definitely, definitely eyeing. It's gonna be $25 for these duos and they look beautiful. If you have not tried Give Me Glow Cosmetics, they are an indie brand. And their products are phenomenal, truly, truly phenomenal. They just also came out with nude gloss collections. Each of these collections have five different glosses in there, but when I tell you, these are like the perfect nude glosses for you. They are stunning. There's like pinks and cool tones and browns and chocolates, like it's stunning. A new release from BK Beauty. This is the Holy Grail Trio. So this is an ultra luxe version of their best-selling 101 brush, 109 brush, and A506 brush. It's in a special collector's edition. This is gonna be $120 and it's gonna be available on October 1st. They are a little bit more on the pricier side for brushes. Even if you get them individually, they are kind of pricey. They're like $30, some are $20 but the quality is so amazing on these brushes. I love my BK Beauty brushes. These are some of my favorite, favorite brushes. Honestly, this is like the IT brush brand now, and their brushes are just truly, truly amazing. If you're ever on the fence about a BK Beauty brush, just know nine times out of 10 when you see me using a brush, it's BK Beauty. So ColourPop just launched the Stranger Things collection and I do have a video up trying some of these products in the collection if you want to go and check them out, if you want to see swatches of the palette and things like that. So I honestly think that this collection is such a great collector's collection. The palette is truly the standout for me. I think the formula is great. I loved the look that I created. The glosses, if you don't like glitter on your lips and you don't like to feel the glitter, the glosses are definitely something you can skip out on. The blush, y'all go watch my video and see that blush. It is actually a pH changing blush, but I did not love how it looked. It looked greasy on the face. Like I said, it is available now. We have a new release from Summer Fridays. This is the Summer Silk Nourishing Body Lotion. This retails for $28. It is available now at Sephora. $28 is pretty pricey, so I feel like this is one of those products I would wait for a sale to purchase. I personally am not in the market for a new body lotion. I am obsessed with the EOS body lotions, but this I'm definitely gonna pass on. Speaking of Summer Fridays, we have a new lip butter balm scent and it is hot cocoa this is available now and actually I'm hoping to go to Sephora today to pick it up I did get to smell this and when I tell you this truly smells and tastes like hot chocolate it is a darker tint I feel like this is probably the darkest shade that they have in their line or that they've ever come out with but it is so nice and so perfect for fall and winter so I'm definitely gonna be getting that I feel like at this point I collect the lip butter balms Glossier is coming out with new fragrances and both of these are gonna be $78 a piece first one that we have is this more purpley fragrance and this one has buttercream plum butter toasted almond iris and sandalwood the other one has sweet violet palo santo ambrette and brocks like there's some really cool stuff in there a lot of these notes in the white one I'm not familiar with but both of these are gonna be available on October 3rd by the way it's Libra season happy Libra season to all my fellow Libras out there I will say unfortunately when it comes to these limited edition Fenty glosses they do tend to sell out so I don't really know if you want to wait for the Sephora sale to get this or get it now but it is $24 basically this is the shades fussy and Fusia flex mixed together Fusia flex was just a little bit too much for me to wear all the time. I'm excited about it, so I'm definitely gonna be getting that. I have actually been waiting for this to come to Ulta because ordering it from the Juvia's Place website, it's gonna be harder to exchange out shades. Technically, this is a finishing powder and not a setting powder. So I definitely wouldn't use this under the eyes. The packaging is beautiful. 
I am just personally waiting for it to come to Ulta, but this looks so amazing. The last release I wanted to talk about is this collaboration with Hello Kitty and Wet n Wild. And y'all, this collection is so cute. So we have blushes, highlighters, a makeup bag, we have a makeup sponge, we have an eyeshadow palette, we have a lip mask, we have brushes. Like there's so much in this collection and it is with Wet n Wild so it's so affordable. I don't know if I'm gonna get anything from this. I feel like when it comes to a lot of Wet n Wild products, I'll use them a couple times and then not reach for them again. So I think I'll most definitely probably skip out on this one. It's a really, really cute collection. So that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed just chilling out and talking about makeup releases with me. Like I said, I didn't talk about any holiday sets because I want to do a separate video just talking about a ton of the best and worst holiday gift sets. There's so many to talk about so definitely stay tuned for that video but thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye guys!